well, we've reached the halfway point of our fifth night of the GeoComply Remote Darts League. And all of the relevant uh, technology is fired up and ready for this, our fourth game of the evening. So over in Tennessee, we welcome back Joe Cheney. And over the Welsh border, we say hello once again to Jim Williams. Hello, Richard. Hello, Jim. Hi, Joe, lad. Now, I'm not sure which one of you want to start, but there's one match that sticks in the memory, and it was last year at the World Trophy in Preston, a quarter-final match, went right down to the wire. Uh, Joe, your memories of that one against Jim? Yeah, uh, the whole tournament, actually, you know, that's where I got my first TV win. Um, Will Amand Diggers and Rob, Gary Robson then played Jim, uh, Though I don't remember exactly the details of mine and Jim's match, it seems like he got a, got ahead of me, and I staged a comeback and then lost the decider 6-5. Uh, to five. Any memories yourself of that, Jim? I remember it well, yeah. I think I went 5 to that, but then I went to the bar for 20 minutes, and Joe got it back to 5 all, and then I managed to win the last leg. Incredible. <laughs> and, and it proved absolutely pivotal, Jim, because who went on to win the title? What, did Joe win that one? You did. Oh, yeah, I did, yeah. <laughs> yeah he, want, he, wanted, he wanted us to say it, Joe, you see. <laughs> <laughs> well, Joe, wouldn't you know it, this format is actually the first of six. So it could yep. be a little bit of revenge online here this evening. Absolutely. Come on, Anne, let's go. Come on, Joe. As Jim says, let's get it on. Let's get it on. Sure will, Jim. Thanks, you so much better in your accent, Joe. Let's get it on. <laughs> yeah, Jim is the reigning World Trophy champion. Sorry to mention it, Joe. But Joe, with plenty of pedigree himself, multiple ranking titles in the USA. He's actually a Las Vegas Open champion a few years ago. World Cup representative, just like Jim, for their respective countries of USA and Wales. When we get this best of 10 leg encounter underway, it will be Joe that has the darts in this one. Now I'm all set. Okay, yeah. Joe. You're throwing first. Game on. All the best, Jim. All the best for me. One eighty. What a start for Jim Williams. Eighty three. On Jim requires seventy six. Sixty. Joe requires seventy eight. Sixty eight. Oh, great recovery with a treble 18, but misses the double. Jim, you require 16. 16. Yeah, game shot. Yeah, good leg there. Jim takes the first leg. Second leg, Jim to throw first.
Forty. Joe requires one hundred and sixty one. Forty three. Fifty five. Joe requires one hundred and eighty. Yeah, I that. Yes, he was a single 18, but he hit the double. Adjusted brilliantly for the double 11. A 118 checkout for the second leg, Joe Cheney. Third leg, it's Joe to throw first. The maximum. It's 180 to Joe Cheney. Sixty. Fifty-seven. One hundred fifteen. Show requires one hundred and sixty-four. Great visit there to leave tops. Ninety-seven. Joe, you require forty. No score. No score there for Joe. Ninety five. Joe requires forty. Twenty. Jim requires ninety four. Twenty-two. Is it twenty-five and treble nineteen? Yeah. It leaves twelve. Forty-eight. 
Six less then. So 88. Joe, you require 20. Kim, you require six. No score. Show requires five. Yeah, second round. We got there in the end. The third leg to Joe Cheney. Fourth leg, Jim, to throw first. Forty-five. Fifty-eight. Eighty-five. Sixty. Sixty. Forty three. Fifty nine. One hundred. One, two, one. Jim requires one hundred and fifty two. Eighty-five. Joe requires one hundred and nineteen. Eighty-seven. Jim, you require sixty-seven. Twenty-seven. Show requires thirty-two. First round. It's game shot and the fourth leg to Joe Cheney. Fifth leg, it's Joe to throw first. Sixty. Fifty-seven. One forty. Sixty. One 
96. Sixty. Sixty-eight. Okay, requires one hundred and forty. One hundred and five. Forty. Joe requires thirty-six. Yeah, first one. It is the fifth leg to Joe Cheney. Sixth leg, Jim to throw first. One hundred. One hundred. Two. Jimmy require one hundred and four. Fifty six. One, two, three. Thirty-two. Joe, you require one hundred and seven. Second dart. Oh, what a check out there. One hundred and seven in two darts, the treble nineteen and ball to take the sixth leg, Joe Cheney. Cheeky. Seventh leg, Joe, to throw first. Sixty. One hundred. Ninety-five. <clears throat> Fourteen. Ninety-four. One forty.
85. Jimmy you require 121. Thirty-eight, fifty-three. Joe one one hundred and sixty-seven. Sixty. Jimmy requires sixty-eight. Yeah, game shot. Yeah, he's found it. Recovered after the single one, treble 17 and double eight to take the seventh leg, Jim Williams. Eighth leg, Jim, to throw first. One hundred. Sixty. One forty. One hundred. Jim, you require one hundred and sixty one. Fifty-one. Fifty-seven. Jim, you require one hundred and ten. Twenty-five. Jim, you require 85. 25 left. 60. Joe, you require 58. 58. Yeah, it's game shot. And the match to Joe Cheney. Well, an entertaining match for the neutrals there. I'm not sure Jim would quite agree. Uh, Jim, you've been talking about your form in general. That is actually your first defeat in the Remote Dance League 2. Um, but is that the sort of thing you were talking about, not quite finding your form? It's, that wasn't the sort of game we've seen from you previously. Yeah, it's just concentrating, to be honest. I don't know. It's a bit embarrassing, that one, to be fair. <laughs> there we are. Well, it was maybe coming, I think. Maybe from your very high standards. Uh, what could have been a key leg was actually one of those really early on where both of you uh, were missing a lot of doubles uh, and Joe just nicked it, I think, the third leg. And maybe that goes in and the match is completely different. Yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's just concentrating in it. Like, there's a, it's a bit of a circus here sometimes, so... That's what, you, that's what you've got to put up with for playing at home, isn't it? Well, absolutely. Well, t well, tell us about the si Before we speak to Joe, um, just tell us about the situation there, Jim. How old is your, your, your baby now? He's just over eight months old. So, uh, yeah. So he's not going to yeah. keep quiet while you're playing darts necessarily. 
Oh, no, he's shouting his support there. He's cheering me on, bless him. <laughs> and the dog is. And that he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll need their support because you are going to be up for one more game later on. You take on Larry Butler in a couple of games' time. Another American. But I'm sure you'll give credit, especially to the finishing there of Joe. Oh, Joe's a great player, yeah. Um, yeah, he's a lovely guy as well. And Yeah, he, he beat me fair and square. And uh, it's probably not going to be the first time. <laughs> well, Joe, we've kept you patiently waiting there, but um, I'm sure you're delighted. Some really quirky finishes there. I like the one one eight early on. You wanted the single eighteen, and uh, found yourself uh, hitting the double eighteen to leave double eleven. That went in very clean. Yeah, that's when uh, <clears throat> you know knowing your math really helps you when you when you make a you know a, a dumb shot like that, and then able to compute the math uh, you know rather quickly keeps you focused. Um, which, you know, you see a lot of people get down there low and they're having to, and I'm not saying necessarily on the remote dart league, but people in general, they get down to that out and they miss a dart and it takes them a few minutes, you know, or not minutes, but rather <laughs> longer to uh, compute the math to get focused back in on the double. So as bad as that double 18 was, the math was, you know, relatively quick and I jumped right into the double 11. Well, the message from Joe there is you do the math. Joe yeah. certainly did. Now, tell us about that 107. That's one of my favourite shots that we've seen throughout the Remote Darts League. Uh, only two darts to check it out, the treble 19 and Bull. Well, you like the 19 on that shot anyways, uh, because, you know, the 7 or the 3, if you miss left or right, still leaves you an out. Um, and, you know, I, I go with my gut a lot of times. Um, you know, on a 110, a lot of times, for some reason, if I trip the 20 with the first start, I go straight to the double ball. Um, the 107, you know, it's kind of the same way. <clears throat> uh, sometimes, you know, if you've got a big lead, it doesn't really matter. And then <clears throat> I find myself, even when I don't have a lead, uh, doing it the same way. Um, well, you know, so I just try to trust the gut. You know, you said something the other day when I shot the 78, you know, the triple 20, double nine. And just whatever, I, you know, my gut's telling me I'm going to hit, I try to go with it. Well, it's working for you. I think there's a small fire there at Jim Williams' place. So we uh, are... <laughs> We just saw a flume there. So uh, we better let you both get off uh, because we have two more matches to play. And Joe, you're not going anywhere. You're back to take on uh, Lorraine Wynn Stanley. Jim, we'll see you later on uh, for Larry Butler. You're... Hi, Jim. Uh, 